Hi, let us look at master's theorem for dividing function. So in the master theorem, we take a recurrence relation in general form. So the general form of recurrence relation is Tn is equals to Atn by B plus F of N. And we assume that a is greater than or equal to 1 means at least it must be 1 and b is greater than 1 and f of n we say that it is of the form theta n power k log n whole to the power of p we assume this is the general form now from this we will find out two values first is log a base B and the second is K K that is power of N see there are different methods here sometime we take A and B power K first value is A and the next value is B power K I am taking log A base B and N and this will be more easy now based on these two values there are three cases case 1 if log a base b is greater than k then answer is theta of n power log a base b so we get the answer in theta otherwise you can take big o also this is first case K is 2 if log A base B is equals to K these two are same that is log A base B and power of N in function N whatever the power of N in function N both are same equal then again it has three cases if P is greater than minus 1 means p is not a negative then answer is n power k and log of p plus 1 n so whatever the p value is it is raised for one more time means that whole thing is multiplied by log n I am just writing the conditions that mostly you find these conditions in textbook. So I am writing the conditions. Then I will take the examples and I will show you. If P is equal to minus 1, then this is theta of n power k log of log n. And if P is less than minus 1, then this is theta of just n power k. We will discard log n. So there are three subcases in case 2. If these two are equal, then these are three subcases. Then case 3. If log a base b is less than k, then this n power k is greater. Again, there are two cases here. If P is greater than or equal to 0, then answer is theta of n power k log n power P. Means as it is, same thing. And if P is less than 0, then it is big O of n power k. Just we will take n power k and discard log n. That's it. Now let me take some examples and show you. I'll make it more simple for understanding this one through examples. So let us solve few examples. Let us take some recurrence relation that are satisfying case 1. So Tn is equals to 2tn by 2 plus 1. What is a here? a is 2. What is b here? That is 2. What is f of n? 
this is theta of 1. What is this theta of 1? Theta of 1 is n power 0. Is there any log n? No, there is no log n. So for that also I will take log power 0. See, this 1 is n power 0 and the log n power 0 also. Both are 0. Now from this, I'll find out log a base b and n power k. So what is the k here? k is 0. So k is 0 and p is also 0. So what is log a base b? Log 2 base 2 is 1 and k is 0. See, log a base b is greater than k. This satisfies first condition, k is 1. So what is that answer I have to write? The answer I have to write is, theta of n power log a base b. Log a base b is what? 1. So n power 1. That's it. Second example. Tn is equals to 4 Tn by 2 plus n. So directly I will find out these two. Log 4 base 2 is what? 2 log a base b I found out directly instead of finding out a and b and then p I have directly found out this one so what is the k n power is what 1 what is the p that is 0 so this satisfies which case this is 2 greater than 1 so it comes under case 1 so theta of n power log a base b so theta of n power The third example for the same case one tn is equals to 8 t tn by 2 plus n log 8 base 2 is 3 n power k is k is 1 so 3 is greater so this is theta of n power 3 that's it. 8 base 2 is 3 and this is 1 only. Now look at this. If the recurrence relation is Tn, 8 Tn by 2 plus n square. So k is 2. There is no p here. p is 0. There is no log n here. So in simple words, you find out this and this and find out log. And power of n you see. Power of n you see. So power of n is 2, this is 3, so still this is greater, so answer is n power 3. Let me change, tn is equals to 9 tn by 3 plus 1. What is log 9 base 3? This is 2. What is k? This is what? n power 0, this is n power 0, k is 0, so this is greater. This is greater. So the answer is theta of n power this one 2. If this is n, n power 1, power 1, this is greater. So again n square only. If this is 2, then this is 2. So this is not greater. They are equal. So they come under case 2. So as long as this is greater, whatever the result you are getting directly put it here. Let us quickly look at some examples. Suppose this is 4n by 2 and this is n. What is this 4 base 2? Log 4 base 2? 2. And this is 1. So answer will be theta of n square only. Right? If this is 8, 8 base 2 cube, this is 1 only. So this will be Q. If you have 8 here and here it is n log n. So just we see power of n, n power k, k you check. So this is 1, this is 8 base 2, 3. So this is greater. As long as log a base b is greater than power of n n power of n in function f of n we take log a base b only
all right next we'll look at second case tn is equals to 2tn by 2 plus n log 2 base 2 is 1 and k is 1 so this is they are equal then what is the p here there is no log n so p is 0 p is 0 right so this is p is greater than minus 1 so what it should be n power k and log p plus 1 so whatever n is n log n so p was 0 so i made it as 1 in simple terms i'll explain you just watch this don't look at this one right later you can look at you can pause and rewind and you can go through this one so simply i will explain this one look at this 2 base 2 is 1 n power is 1 so whatever f of n is multiplied by log n simple no of p right this is what we found in the book so unless i show this you may not feel that i am showing master's theorem that is the reason I have written it. Okay. It can be made more simple. So watch this one. Now if this is 4 by 2 and n square. This is 4 by 2 is what? 2. K is how much? 2. Both are same. So what I should do? n square log n. This is the answer. If suppose already I have log n. So again you multiply by log n so log square n n square log n so multiply by n square log n again if suppose already this is n square log n so make it as log cube n. so it means when these two are equal log a base b and n power not log n power is same then take this as it is multiplied by log n right Take this as it is and multiply by log n. Suppose this is log power 5. Make it 6. Now I will write few more. See. 8 log base 2 and n cube. So what is this? 8 base 2 is what? 3. What is n power k? n power k. k is what? 3. Both are equal. 3, 3. Both are equal. So the answer is what? n power 3 log n take that n power 3 whatever f of n is multiplied by log n that's it this is case 2 in that first one i have shown you now i suppose the recurrence relation is like this 2 t n by 2 plus n by log n then log 2 base 2 is 1 k power power of n is 1 k is 1 but what is the p value p is this is in denominator so it is minus 1 then what i should do i told you that if these two are equal they are same this is 1 this is 1 then directly take f of n and multiply it by log n if i do that then log n log n gets cancelled no don't do that here the method is little different so take it as theta of and as it is, instead of log n, make it as log of log n. This is the answer. This is what this method says. If it is equal to minus 1. So, p is minus 1. So, this I can write it as into log minus 1 n. So, this one. And, even in the same situation, if this is denominator is log square n then this will be into log minus 2 n so this will be too small this will be too small minus 2 right then in this case it is less than minus 1 less than minus 1 so in that case don't take this log of log n also don't take log n log, log of log n also that is power 2 power 3 something then ignore it just take this one that's all right these are the three sub cases in case 2 now the third case i will show you tn is equals to tn by 2 
plus n square. What is a base b? Log 1 base 2 is 0 and k is a 2. So this is smaller than this one. This is greater. So this is theta of n square. Theta of n square. Right? If this is 2 base 2, 2 base 2 is 1. Still this is greater. Answer is n square. And if suppose this is having log n, then take log n as it is. If you are having log square n, take log square n as it is. Whatever it is, you take this one. Power of n is greater than this log a base b. So take directly f of n. It is very simple. Take f of n. This is f of n only. Power of k is greater than directly take it. Okay. n square log square n. That's, that is already directly have taken it. Okay. Then, if this is suppose 4n by 2 and this is a 3. So, this is a 2 you see and this is a 3. So, the answer is n cube. That is greater. So, whatever it is along with that, if you have log also, you take it. But one thing, if that is having log in the denominator, but this is greater, so don't take the denominator, just take n power 3. That's it. Right? These are the cases and I have shown with some examples.